Hey guys, I'm Ozia, and today I'm going to do a how-to basics on Electrocraft. So I'm going to cover how the power uh, of Rotocraft gets transferred through the Electrocraft wires, how it gets uh, turned into electricity and how it gets converted back, uh, how to alter the current, uh, how the current uh, flows through the wires, so how, uh, and also how we can shut power off, uh, how we split it, and uh, also the formulas for uh, figuring out how much uh, volts and amps you need. Uh, to get the desired uh, output you want. Okay, so first thing we're going to look at is we're just going to look at our uh, uh, coil over here. So it's on creative. So we've got 1024 rads and we have about 5000 newton meters. Okay, so this uh, induction motor here uh, converts it into, if we get the pipe here, the wireless says it's got 8192 volts and uh, 624 amps. Um, okay, so to figure out how the torque and uh, rads get converted into voltage and current uh, just need to look up here so the rads going in uh, you times it by 8 so we've got 1024 rads there uh, we'll get 8192 volts so essentially it's you times the rads by 8 and you get the volts output so when you're converting backwards it's volts divided by 8 gets you rads okay so with the torque it's uh, the opposite so 8 divided by, um, it's divided by 8, so 8 newton meters equals 1 amp. So we've got 5,000 um, newton meters of torque going into the induction motor, and that roughly comes out to, well actually comes out to 625 amps, but it doesn't come out perfectly, so we're going to get 624 amps, okay? Uh, as you can see here, we've got a, uh, a cable here, this is a superconductive cable. Now it has uh, no loss um, of power over distance, so different cables like copper and silver uh, all lose voltage over distance, so copper will lose 2 volts every 1 meter, where silver will lose 1 volt every 1 meter, okay? So if we look at the, um, this would be 1 meter here, 2 meters, 3 meters, so if this wasn't here and there was 3 meters and say it was a silver cable, we would have lost uh, so 3 volts, which isn't that much. Okay, so let's look at here. So we've got a uh, essentially like a 3 split here, um, but we've got a current uh, resistor here, which is uh, limited to 0 amps, so we can see no power gets through here. But as you can see, power does get through here, through the dynamo, and power gets through here. So uh, essentially what happens is the power from here goes down here, gets split into two. So we're seeing a divided by two because there's two destinations, okay? So uh, if we had uh, this one opened, uh, had a higher limit, we would see a split between three. Uh, if we've got, actually, this this machine over here is a relay, so it's uh, essentially it's like an off switch for the power. As you can see, it's disconnected by the whaler. Uh, it's powered by redstone, so just flick the switch off and it goes disconnected, and as you can see, no power transfers through. But as you can see now, this one has double the amount of power it did before. That's because the two destinations here are all uh, limited, they're choked off, so the power must flow through here. And when we open up another destination, it cuts it by two. Okay, so this machine is a uh, resistor. And it's got three bars on top. Now these are essentially color codes for resistors in real life. Um, this uh, first strip here is, well, to think about it is your tens column. The middle one is your ones column. And this one is essentially the, uh, I should say how many zeros um, are inside the number or at, at the end. So let's just uh, get some dies out actually. Um, these are your dyes, so you have uh, brown, red rose, orange, uh, dandelion yellow, lime dye, lapis, and magenta. These all correspond to numbers, and they're in order, so you've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I've got them down at the bottom here. So coca beans uh, is one, you'll notice these are all Minecraft dyes, and they only work at the time being. So you've got coca beans here, which is a, a number one. And as I said, this is your ones column and your left one is the tens column. So if we go and get the coca beans and we put, we right click on the middle column, 
we now have a current limit of one amps as you can see we're actually getting power through um, it only limits the uh, torque or amps I should say as you can see the uh, speed uh, is equal to all the others because speed doesn't change uh, this one is your tens column so if we do it here um, sometimes uh, when you're clicking it doesn't quite go on so just try again uh, we've now got a current limit of 11 so we've got uh, one brown 10 and one one brown okay so uh, and then the black here is essentially the zeros column and if it's black it's on zero which means there's no zeros added to the end of it but if we should put a brown there when it wants to click on there through it now adds one zero and now we've got a current limit of 110 now if you want to change it back just get your ink sack and click on there so we set all back to zero again and so let's go up the red so we can go we want uh, a current limit of 20 so we put uh, a number two red in the tens column so we get 20 amps uh, if we want say 21 amps we can then combine it with a brown one as you can see now we've got 21 amps uh, we can go for an orange die which has a uh, which is number three so we can change that to 23 dandelion yellow four we can go to 44 by going uh, putting a yellow into the tens column 44 uh, 50 by the line and uh, we can go blue which is six uh, right yep six and 66 and magenta being the highest one seven so we can get the 77 so two pinks 77 and like I said the uh, the number on the third one corresponds to how many zeros at the end of it so we can change the 77 to 770 by putting a one in that column or we can go to 7700 and you get the point and going through the next one that that and that as you can see now we've got a that's um, uh, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, seven, seven hundred seventy million. I think I've got that right. So now we've uh, essentially delimited it. De that's not even a word, is it? Um, well, we there's no choke on it because we've uh, opened the limit up so much. As you can see now the power is split between three. Okay, so let's just say we want. Uh, um, let's say we want to make a hundred and twenty-eight. Uh, Newton, Newton meters of torque, okay? Um, we know that torque is divided by 8 equals 1 amp. So if we want uh, 128, what's 128 divided by? Actually, you know, stuff it, I'm going to use something simpler. <laughs> Say we want uh, 16 Newton meters, okay? So 16 Newton meters uh, divided by 8 equals 2. So essentially, we want a limit of 2 amps. So what we'll do is we'll uh, set all these back to zero when it's one clicks uh, select the red for two two in one amp and we get 16 newton meters so if you wanted 32 we would want to go is it four in there four amps yep 64 we would want the eight hmm, that's going to be a little bit issue how do we get eight uh, and go six, six gets us 48. There's no eight, that's a complication. There's that's an issue. How do you get eight? <sighs> um, hmm, okay, so there we go. There's a limit. There's a um, you may not be able to get certain amounts of torque, such as uh, getting um, 128 because uh, there is no eight, so there's going to be a little bit difficult so you're going to have an issue with uh, going either actually no you had to make really big numbers but the things around about the 8 newton meters of torque I mean 8 amps and so on is going to be a little bit issue so we can probably go a little bit higher so if we go um, we can go 10 and we can get 80 newton meters of torque so what's oh wrong one Go 12, 12 there, uh, 96, so 
12, one die, 15. Okay, so 16 amps should equals at 128 newton meters of torque. So if you were going to say use 128 meters of torque, you could put say a grinder there or a, yeah, something like that. So, um, so that's how you can sort of limit the amount of power and also limit the amount of wasted power it's because if you're not using the power it is getting wasted and i think that's about it for today guys uh if you've got any questions comments let me know if you like it like it, of course and if you want to see more of this stuff uh subscribe and stuff yay nah.